Minnesota-based General Mills announced plans today to cut up to 600 jobs in the coming weeks. The giant food company says that the decision is part of a long-term plan to restructure and further globalize. Cuts will come from around the world and at the company's Golden Valley headquarters, where about 3,000 people work. The company wouldn't release any more details about when people will find out they've been let go. Nina Moyni explains what is contributing to the cuts. It's not unusual for firms in the industry that General Mills is that also happen to be international players. University of St. Thomas finance professor Dr. David Bang wasn't surprised to hear about more layoffs at General Mills. In the last few years, the company has shut down several plants around the country and cut thousands of jobs. They've invested a lot in having an international presence, so I'm sure in some of these markets, uh, they're kind of pretty close to saturation, and so they're downsizing their personnel. Vang says slashing costs and increasing efficiency is common for companies in the packaged food industry, citing the recent merger between Kraft and Heinz. It takes more people to build the market than it does to maintain one. Tastes are, are changing, not just in the United States, but in other parts of the world. And so, yeah, you are seeing a little bit less of the processed uh, food. Uh, but what's also still good for General Mills is they're also in the unprocessed food processed food industry as well. More layoffs doesn't always mean a company isn't doing well. Vang says it's more a sign of changing times for a company that's been around for 150 years. So it'll still be a good long-term solid company here in, twin, in Minnesota. Uh, but as I said, some of their markets, um, they're going to have to move on. So they're probably essentially regrouping and now trying to conserve funds to go someplace else, as well as trying to hit their shorter-term profit targets. General Mills is also eliminating the international chief operating officer position and splitting that work among other leaders. This round of cuts impacts about 2% of the company's nearly 40,000 employees worldwide, Amelia. All right, Nina, thank you.